Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, this is sensationally disgusting and makes me physically ill. We're trying to be nice to the police. We're saying oh, overall they're being nice. And then suddenly they start grabbing at our reporters, going after them, trying to take their cameras, and we catch on tape them dragging a reporter with a camera behind a, a screen. You can clearly see them punching and stomping him full power. I mean, they are stomping the daylights out of him. And then another reporter is getting footage of it, so the police try to chase him down to take him to the torture dungeon. I mean, this is literally, I don't even know the headline that's strong enough. Like, police take journalists to secluded pens to be beaten. I mean, this is just, uh, this is an, a major human rights uh, scandal. That they got free speech pens, blacked out windows, blacked out fences, so people can't see through them. And, but there is a good eight-inch gap, and you can clearly see they've thrown him on the ground, and they're stomping on him, and they take him there to torture him. And folks, if they get away with this precedent, it's over. See what secrecy's for? So they can commit their crimes in the dark. Look at them stomping him. A full power stomping, full power hitting, and then chasing a reporter, if you're a radio listener, the feeds at Infowars.com forward slash show. Unbelievable. Josh, I guess you shot this footage. Uh, Josh Owens, Infowars.com cameraman. Uh, I mean, I tell you, you've only been here six months or so. You've already seen a lot, my friend. The NSA, uh, you saw you saw the feds stand down with their guns pointed at you, threatening to shoot you at the Bundy yeah. Ranch. You were there. And now this. And you're on the front lines, my friend. Yeah, well, the, the difference here is that, well, the difference that I've noticed with the police specifically is that there's almost, you almost get a feeling of they're, they're just cowards. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they were beating the guy in front of the hotel because they, they seem like wimps. I mean, I, that's just Well, who do you think I, wants to beat people? Well, that's true, yeah. The small guy in high school who gets picked on goes on to be a cop who beats people up for fun. Well, all I know is in bad police departments, they, it's either like, like that or the other way around. I mean, somebody who's tough just doesn't go around beating people up for no reason. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue to talk about, I mean, what did you think when you're watching them? Clearly, it looks, it looks unmistakable. They're stomping him and hitting him. Uh, so I guess, uh, you know, they, that keyhole didn't get closed there, Josh. Yeah, uh, well, it, 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 was, it was shocking, but you can see in the video there's another reporter who runs across the street to film it, and they run after him and chase him and chase him across the street so he isn't filming them do it. But I guess they didn't notice us standing right beside them beating him. Well, see, he went around the corner to shoot around the fence. you got to get with that reporter, that citizen journalist, and get his footage. I guarantee yeah. you they're going to try to deny they were attacking him, and I guarantee you he, they've got the video. He's got the goods. Where is that guy? We need to interview him right now. Do you see that guy in the black jacket? Uh, no, but I'm sure he's over in the free speech zone. Listen, go to the free speech zone. Try to find him in the next segment. Start going now. Keep going okay. live in case something happens. Then I want to go back and I want to talk to the police. I want you to go to the line and say, we want to talk to your, your boss about the civil rights uh, 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 violation that we just saw. Uh, okay? okay. And, yep. and, but listen, you don't have to follow that directive. They may physically attack you. But I know you're yep. not a coward. You and David aren't. So you want to take that mission? Yeah, sure. All right. Go get the witness first. We'll get that streamed. The evidence of the crime first. He can even hold his camera up. We can film that on air. We'll get the okay. evidence of the crime out. Then you go to the criminal force and you, you, and you say, we saw you take that person to your gulag. Where are they? Have you hurt them? 
because this is a kidnapping force for child trafficking, murdering drug dealers that are Bilderberg, literal murderers of the earth. They, I mean, who knows? I mean, literally, they could kill this guy. I mean, you know, they cover up for, you know, worse. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us and you weren't here in the first hour, it's just incredible. Obama is legalizing illegals by fiat. Hundreds of thousands a month are trying to pour in. 60,000 youth alone in the last month are being held as their families completely collapse in Latin America. The media is saying America must accept anyone, billions of people. I mean, they're literally saying, or we're racist. That's the headline. Are we all racist now if we don't accept poor people with no skills, most of them who have medical issues, as the world collapses, climbing into the lifeboat? as America collapses? And the answer is no, they will take your house for property taxes, the IRS, you will be bankrupted, and they will take everything you've got, and Michelle Obama will tell you what to eat. She's doubled down, she will tell your kids what to eat. You will not pack school lunches, she is your boss. I mean, we've entered twilight zone. Washington scrambles to provide food housing to dreamer, uh, dreamers under the DREAM Act, even though it's hadn't passed yet, pouring across the border, 60,000 children, immigration becomes central issue in the Cantor race, charges fly, homeland agents, quote, shouldn't target illegals at courthouses, that's the Washington Times, 
And the Telegraph says, is everyone in the West racist? Because we've only taken on more third world people than any other country. And the answer is yes, we're bad. We must let the political class have unlimited poor people to drive down wages and vote to take our guns. <clears throat> then on Infowars.com, we have Josh Owens, Paul Joseph Watson, David Knight, and his wife, who's also a great photographer, she went along, uh, taking photos and video, and the police coming over to Josh for no reason, grabbing his camera, grabbing his ID, and then beating up protesters on video, dragging them away, and then grabbing someone else and dragging him behind uh, the fence and beating him. We can see through the fence, they're stomping and hitting him and then chasing re re reporters that try to videotape it. And we just played that video for TV viewers. We're mainly a radio show, folks, but we also have video feeds, not just a document cam or not just a webcam, but you know, full-on TV, merging the two. We've been doing that for more than 10 years now, pioneering it. Well, now we pioneer having our reporters <coughs> across the world as we're able to fund Infowars.com and the news operation, I pledge to you, if we're able to get the funding, I'll have reporters in the field every week. I'll send them to UN meetings. I'll send them to the Olympics to cover the police state. I'll send reporters to South America. I got combat, highly decorated vets ready to go to war zones. I mean, I, I, I'm building the team, and the team is awesome. And I want to thank all you, the listeners, for your support, your prayers, our affiliates, our sponsors, everyone. And that's why before our reporter, Josh Owens, updates us, we show that footage again of them beating up the protester, and he goes over and talks to the police live on air and asks them what's going on and what's happened. Before we do that, I didn't talk about anything that funds us last, last hour. It is essential. News gathering, hardcore promotion of liberty, wearing our bias of telling the truth and not backing down on our sleeve. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have got to go to InfoWarsStore.com and get the super high quality Pro Pure G2.0 filters that cut out the fluoride, the glyphosates, lowest price, widest selection, 10% off promo code, the already lowest price. Stop drinking the poison. Stop drinking the fluoride. Help your family and help support the info war at the same time. What is stopping you? The live straw, the best survival seeds, the, the best non-GMO seeds, the best storable foods for my patriot supply sold at InfoWarsStore.com. Hand-cranked AM, FM, shortwave weather radios, charger systems, top of the line, made in America, pro-liberty, pro-gun, Molon Labe, come and take it apparel. Brass belt buckles with George Washington on it. 50 cal made by Navy Shield bot bottle breachers. All the fun stuff, all the culture of liberty right there to identify with each other, to support the operation, to wear your colors loud and proud. Infowarsstore.com or call toll free to ask any questions about discounts or specials or all the great products we've got. 888. 253-3139-888-253-3139. And we've got not one but two new bombshell products that will sell out, probably just for a few weeks, but at this rate, we're going to sell out in days. This is so popular. Super Female Vitality doesn't have eight herbs. It's got ten. It The vitality, the weight loss, the working out is what people report, well, what I've seen We've had it for months, testing it with women in our families and folks in the office. Libido, you name it, super female vitality now, not just super male vitality, InfoWarsLife.com. And we now have the new X2 from seven to 12,000 feet. The mine goes down to 12,000 feet. Multi-million-year-old iodine crystals. No one else has this. All the rest is out of seaweed. We still have survival shield that's good for kids. That you know, It's a lower strength. This is super high-powered, but it's palatable compared to other major brands. No one else has anything like the new survival shield X2. Available at InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or 888-253-3139. And when you buy these high-quality products, you're supporting hardcore journalists in the field, your eyes and ears worldwide. They were at a FEMA camp, military base, last week getting arrested. Uh, I mean, we've got great reporters, and we want to get even more. So we've got enough depth, having you know uh, up to 10 reporters, not just four or five, to really have teams every week in the field, not just here in Texas. So, again, we're building a real media organization, not just me, the old rabble rouser. 
you know, the old uh, Godzilla, the Liberty Movement right here with my pot belly. That's a joke because Godzilla's fat. So my kid was making the joke. You're, God's, you're fat like Godzilla. I'm not really that.